testing times, the Savior in silence. Written by Lavanya, nor Lisa, Sheng Jia, Wei Zhuang. Illustrated by Sheng Yi. Year 2020. It was a difficult year as COVID-19 pandemic hit the globe. For frontliners, it was a memorable experience for them. And that goes for Mr. H, a science officer. It was the last day of Mr. H contributing to battle the COVID-19 pandemic before he returns to the ONG department. He had been analyzing samples from the suspected COVID-19 patients in a hospital microbiology lab. While he was walking out of the hospital, he could still remember clearly what happened on his first day of work and thereafter. During the early phases of Malaysia's MCO, many COVID-19 preventive steps were taken to minimize the spread of coronavirus. On his first day of volunteering, he was driving to work, and the heavy traffic jam made him worried he might be late. Every day, Mr. H had to go through police roadblocks and hospital security checks on the way. It was troubling for Mr. H. At one point, our science officer was late to his laboratory due to a horrible traffic jam. This caused the whole sample testing team to go home later than usual. Mr. H was unable to start off his sample analysis on time. Mr. H works in a university hospital. When the COVID-19 cases started to rise, he knew he had to lend a hand. So, he volunteered to be a part of the COVID-19 testing team. He has been serving for a long time, he has his expertise to share, there was a lack of staff, and quite frankly he, he was skillful. When he reached the hospital, he started his PPE donning procedure. Neatly, he put on the scrub clothing, first layer of gloves, plastic apron, second layer of gloves, the N95 clinical mask and the face shield. Phew. Mr. H was in the sample analysis team, out of three available ones. He could not meet his co-workers in the sample preparation and reagent preparation teams to prevent cross-contamination. At least 100 samples would have been processed every day. This could take about 5 hours or more. For two months, he entered the sample analysis room and switched on the three important machines. The biosafety cabinet, the centrifuge and the PCR machine. The trusty PCR machine analyzed the COVID-19 nasal and throat swab samples and determined if the sample was a positive or a negative one. It was always a suspense to wait for the results. On the fourth day, a few samples he tested came out positive. Boy oh boy. It was not a job for the faint-hearted. He announced to the samples. Okay, let's check if the freezer temperature is at minus 80 degrees Celsius. In you go and you shall come out again if a retest is necessary. At 1 p.m., it's time for him to go home. He made sure to do the doffing procedure and shower before heading home to his family. He took every possible step to keep his family away from any virus. On his way to the parking lot, he saw a cleaner clearing clinical waste around the hospital. He was glad to see a fellow frontliner and greeted her. They had a chat about how different the working environment felt as lesser essential workers and nurses came to work. She told him. All this social distancing doesn't feel too bad but I'm already missing all my capable friends. You are doing a great job too, Mr. H. Mr. H understood what she meant. He too felt the same. He enjoyed the new bond he had with his fellow lab technicians, doctors and staff. Nevertheless, being in this testing time together, serving the nation with this close group of people, warmed his heart. He thought to himself. Not going to hide it. I secretly enjoy this new appreciation and respect. What a way to raise the spirit. I'm already ready for tomorrow. However, Mr. H's 60-day experience had not been smooth. Mr. H let out a sigh, thinking back how far he had come from his first day of volunteering. It was not easy for Mr. H and his volunteer team to deliver the sample results on time daily. 
Mr. H had to adjust his time with testing nasal and throat swab samples for coronavirus, and his main responsibilities at the ONG department. He had to do more jobs since many hospital staff are working from home. Many sacrifices were made when unexpected samples arrived at his hospital late in the afternoon, or when the machines in his microbiology lab broke down. On top of that, PPE supplies were low. Mr. H and his team limited the amount of PPE used each day, so that the sample testing results for COVID-19 would not be delayed further. And what's more, Mr. H had to convince his family to approve of him becoming a COVID-19 task team frontliner. He promised he would practice all the preventive steps to keep himself and his wife safe from the virus. This also meant that Mr. H could not return to his hometown in Ipo during his two-month service to care for his parents. Yet, the danger of exposing his family and friends to the virus was always present with Mr. H's hospital work. One time, the microbiology lab went on high alert. A close contact of his co-worker was suspected for COVID-19. Thankfully, the situation calmed down since his co-worker was under quarantine before she came to work in the lab. Though there may be hard times, Mr. H has always been positive. He has also felt that his organization was in good control of the situation, making sure to always avoid risks among staff members by following the COVID-19 prevention SOP. In fact, nobody caught the coronavirus in his hospital, since everyone followed the given guidelines professionally at all times. Also, Mr. H thought of the counselors, psychiatrists and psychologists who were always ready to provide consultancy and emotional support when needed. These people had always been his strength. Mr. H enjoyed the chance to share his once-in-a-lifetime experience with his family. As MCO went by, he was more happy as the roads were clearer, and he had more flexible working hours than usual. So yeah, I love working during MCO. Mr. H grinned as he thought to himself. The new normal was rather adaptable then. Furthermore, Mr. H was thankful of the Malaysians' effort to stop the spread of COVID-19. Money, PPE and machines were donated to the hospital. With the support from individuals, organizations and government, he felt hopeful towards motion in battling the pandemic. Throughout the time, coronavirus cases in the country were lowered a lot. Mr. H believed that everyone is important in making this happen. Mr. H thought. Hmm, if I were to own a hospital, I would sign more agreements with companies so they could donate more equipment and then I can open up more labs, even makeshift ones, because a higher number of samples can be tested every day. All he had ever wanted was to reduce everyone's burden. For him, a sincere heart of helping others was what made his job as a frontliner more meaningful. Being a part of a global community, he always made sure that he practiced good personal hygiene, food ethics and steps to avoid the risk of being infected by any virus. Remembering those moments, he smiled. His sense of responsibility and kindness had brought him to a totally new experience and made him closer with hospital colleagues. Working as a medical frontliner, he felt satisfied and grateful for everything he had gone through. It was a rewarding experience for him. It's a combination of all these experiences that make me willing to go through this experience all over again. He whispered to himself while he continued his journey back home, waving goodbye to the hospital guards and staff. 